All right, so today we have a pretty busy day ahead of us. I wish we were installing the trans in the vet, uh, but still no headway on that. I found one for a pretty good price with low mileage on eBay, um, but I'm waiting to hear back from the people on how fast they could get it to me. So we're kind of at a standstill with that. We do need to remount the side skirts with rib nuts. We need to uh, do some other stuff to the vet, but the main thing we need to do today, and the reason time frame is so important with the trans is because we're going on a big trip in about a week and a half. So we're going, it's about a thousand miles each way, so it's a long trip. So we gotta make sure the truck is in tip top shape. One of those things that we need to do is this Mishimoto Trans Cooler. They just came out with these for the Duramaxes uh, probably a few months ago. I've had it for a while. I just was gonna wait till I had some other projects to do on the truck. But now that we're going on this big trip, I wanna get it done. So it's for the 03 to 05 LB7 and LLY Duramaxes. I have an LLY. Uh, it's really nice, huge core, very wide. Um, looks like it should be very easy to mount. It uses these adapters going to the hard ones, which mount to the bottom here. And then it goes from, you know, from these hoses into the cooler. Uh, so this should be pretty, I don't want to say it's going to be easy to install. Hopefully be easy to install. <laughs> Never, you always know how that goes. But uh, Mishimoto, I didn't even realize this, but they actually make a ton of stuff for diesel trucks. My plan would be to upgrade all my cooling stuff, like to their stuff. So the radiator, intercooler, hoses, all that stuff. But for right now, we're knocking out the important stuff. The only downfall is with the vet on the lift and like where my lift placement is, there's no way I'm getting my truck in here. Uh, so we are gonna be doing this outside. It's overcast, but I don't think it's gonna rain. Probably shouldn't say that either. Okay, enough jibber jabbering, let's get started. I can't wait to do intake exhaust and tune on this truck. I'm hoping that I'll have a little bit of time between when we get back from this trip and when the Miata uh, is done from paint to knock that stuff out if I can get all my ducks in a row as far as getting the parts. But like I said, intake exhaust tune and then uh, I'd like to do the Mishimoto cooling stuff and like PCV reroute and EGR delete. That's pretty much everything I want to do to this truck. I'd like to do a six speed conversion, but I feel like it would take a lot of driving for the gas mileage to you know, make up for the cost of the conversion body. So I don't know. Uh, those of you Duramax owners out there that are watching, uh, give me some input. What what exhaust, what intake, uh, what are your thoughts on all that stuff? You know, as we've learned with like the Zs and the, the drift that like stock is reliable. It's pretty much always the case. Like the closer you have something to stock, the more reliable it's gonna be. Uh, at least as far as drifting and cars go it's something i've learned so with trucks is it the same way or is it like the egr delete is necessary and the pcv route is necessary i know the intake elbow you know it creates like a hot air spot or something it ups the iats which ups the cooling temp because it's heat soaks the radiator after the intercooler gets heat soaked i know all that stuff so i just i'm curious your input is am i going to make it less reliable by modding it? it because the goal would just be to make it more reliable and make it sound cool Anyway, I'm still jibber jabbering when I'm supposed to be working, so let's get to work. It's kind of a scary sight. Got my truck in here, I'm about to tear it apart and make it undrivable, and then my vet is taken apart and undrivable. <laughs> uh, so I think the first steps is just rip this off, rip the grill off, try not to break any of the clips or break it, um, and then we'll have access to the trans cooler. So oh, this is our factory trans cooler. Obviously very, very dinky and tiny. Looks like our new one mounts to like here, I think. We'll see, we gotta start taking it apart. Uh, so fluid will come out, so we gotta try to figure that out. Uh, we gotta get these little clips off. The other trans cooler I saw, you have to like make brackets basically and like mount them and stuff. So it's cool that it re like utilizes the factory one. Okay, uh, so now we just gotta figure out how to get these clips out without breaking them. That's gonna be the hard part. Oh, yeah, oh, supposedly they're spring-loaded and they're gonna go flying, so you're gonna have to try to retain it. We found the clips. God, you guys can't see anything. Uh, they're just hidden under this little cover, so pretty simple. Oh, is he gonna get it? Is he gonna get it? Oh, oh woo! Daddy Taylor's woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Okay. Sorry, I'm excited, man. Why are you not excited? Oh, I forgot. This is so much fun! There you go, there you go. Taylor Ray's post. He makes me work on his truck and never pays me. All right, got the hoses attached. This is how they go. Uh, again, these are still loose, so we'll pop the old one out. 
pop the new one in. Should be easy. Ben got this super sick Miata in. This honestly is my favorite of all the ones you've got so far. Crashed in the rear. It's just like a, what would you call this type of build? I don't know. Like a typical 16-year-old build? Yeah. They go this hard on the interior stuff. It's got the cool like, gauge cluster where it has all the lights, like old school, old school switch for the hazards and the flip ups. It's got the like chrome AC thing. Okay, I don't know. I just Stunt. think it's cool. It's a nice grip royal wheel. Oh, I need to try this on my, oh, damn it. The car's not here. Subs, yeah, look at the subs. I got kickers, brother. Hell yeah. I'm still blowing out my AC stuff and intercooler and such. And then we'll be throwing on the trans cooler. That looks gangster. Look at that. Prop to Mishimoto. That was a very, very easy install. And I really like the way they did it. You can slide these bad boys up. These little quick covers. just done this outside in the first place hell yeah and that looks it looks real sick in there it's just such a really nice design they went wide instead of trying to make it tall and having to redo all this like you just use all the factory mounting brackets it just makes sense so i'll pop the grill back in here and we'll be done for the day on this well that was easy trucks all back together you can kind of see it poking through there i can see it but I don't know if you guys can with the overexposure. This is one of those projects where on paper, I'm like, this is gonna be easy. But then I know how this all works and I'm like, I'm gonna run into issues, it's not gonna be easy. So I kind of planned out this big chunk of the day to do this and we're done, it was easy. Which is sick though, because that means we got time to do the oil change and a couple other little things on our list to get this thing ready for this big trip. We've got some more stuff to do, we're waiting on parts for that. Uh, the reason it's such a time crunch is because I've got to get the trans back in the vet. Well, get a trans, put it in the vet, or get that one rebuilt, put it in the vet. Got to get that done, put angle on the vet, build a handbrake handle, and do a few other tinkery things to get it ready for the end of the giveaway, which ends in about a week and a half, which is the same time as we're going on the trip, uh, which I also have to prep the truck and prep the Z4. So we got a lot going on over the next week and a half. But it kind of works out because the Miata is at paint, so I wouldn't have stuff to do otherwise. So... I'm not complaining. It. I don't like not having anything to do. To me, it's it's like way worse than having a bunch to do. But that being said, Drift Vet giveaway, week and a half left. If you're interested in supporting the channel, if you're interested in cool Drift Vet merch, if you're interested in cool just garage built merch, like all the other merch we have, every $5 spent gets you an entry um, and you get a chance to win the Drift Vet, which is sick. I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. Um, but whoever gets it is gonna love it because the thing's sweet. So if you guys have been on the fence about it or whatever, um, now is a really good time because it is gonna end very soon. And just a huge thank you to everyone who has entered thus far. You guys have been a huge help in supporting the channel. I have faith that we're gonna hit our goal and hitting our goal means being able to do a budget build. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can sustain that by selling or raffling or auctioning or whatever, each one, you know, and building the next one. The only problem is I can't figure out what I want to do that I wouldn't want to keep. Give me some input. What should I do? I, everything that I had the desire to build, I'd want to keep. And I can't do that. That's the whole point of the thing. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, uh, we got to go to Walmart. I got to get oil. Uh, we got to go to Lowe's and pick up the rest of the stuff for phase two of the old house renovation. Uh, Ben's going to buy the rest of the stuff that we need and we're going to try to finish that up probably starting after we get back from this trip. So that'll be exciting. We'll finally have the house done. I know you guys are interested in that, so I'll bring you guys along with us for the uh, shopping experience. Every time I come to Lowe's, I feel like there's some tools that I need. on the exterior designer, so I came up with the iron frost. We're kind of between that and this shark fin, but I kind of like the iron frost better. And then blizzard white. It's a blizzard fog, which is just like a really white, white, not semi like cream to it. I think that goes well with the iron frost. And maybe, I don't know, shark fin's looking pretty good too. That's a big boy. That's nice how wide that is. We're trying to figure out closet shelving, but it's confusing. There's so many options. And we got pink colors for the bathroom. Check out. That's a pretty good haul, brother. Jesus Christ, man. I'm sorry, dude. Ben can't handle anything that's 10 foot long, apparently. 
Yeah, so we got our shelves, we got our track for our shelves, we got our paint things, we got paint rollers, we got paint, we got long paint roller things, we got brushes. Ben's gonna start doing artwork. So that's exciting. It's gonna be one hell of a week, guys. Yeah, this is gonna be great. All right, I got some Rotella T6 synthetic. I went synthetic just because. Uh, it says it is suitable for placement of 1550 mineral and synthetic base. So uh, it calls for 1540, but 540 synthetic is supposed to be suitable. So just wanted to go with synthetic, try to take care of my truck. Uh, ben found these off that car. This is why I think that car is cool. I had a bunch of cool little stuff on it. This little cool Miata pedal covers. So I'm gonna put those on my car whenever I get it back. <laughs> uh, I got, I just bought a AC Delco filter off Amazon. Apparently these have like a drain back valve or like a low pressure bypass valve or something for cold starts. There's something specific about this that needs to be right. So I went AC Delco, which most of you know, AC Delco is like GM's OEM brand, basically. Andy. Hey. Hey, shop kitty. The viewers haven't seen you in a while. She's still timid with the shop. It's okay. Don't go under there. There's oil. Current situation. Whoever put this oil filter on tightened it uh, unbelievably tight. I'm, it's still not coming loose with a screwdriver all the way through it. Why did I have to talk about simple jobs being simple and not being simple normally? Why did I have to say things like that earlier? Why? Why would I do that to myself? Okay, well, never thought the oil change would be the hardest part of today's projects. I can't say that because today's projects aren't over yet. I basically had to hammer a small flathead in, pull it out, and then hammer a big Phillips head in so it was this one. So it was thick enough to not just flex because I bent this one and then went to pull it out and pulled the handle right off it. Screwdriver had forever. But yeah, it was a nightmare to get this thing off, but I finally got it off. Well, oil change done. We still need to eventually do a trans fluid. Um, but for now, it's topped off. It's solid. Trans cooler. Truck. Semi good. Still gotta do brakes. Still gotta do trailer stuff. But that's okay. Moving on to the vet. So what I want to do is I want to pull these side skirts off uh, and just remount them with rib nuts. Which is a more permanent solution. Up here you have the factory bolts. Oh, you guys probably yeah you can see that. Uh, but then they, I self tapered it over here and occasionally they'll want to pull out if it like scrape you scrape over a speed bump or something. So we're just gonna. Make it a little nicer with rib nuts. The only reason I didn't do rib nuts in the first place is because I didn't have any. But now I have them and they're my favorite thing ever. So we're gonna try it out. All right, I got them rib nutted in all the way around. They feel much sturdier now, which makes me happy. So when you uh, get the car and scrape over speed bumps, you'll be all right. <laughs> we're doing the shelves. I'll show you guys Ben's shelves. Pro shelf builder. So we ended up going with the track. It just seemed like a nicer way to do it. It's like more modular. We can pick and choose where we want to put it. So Ben got his up while I was trying to get my oil filter off. Look at those sweet boots. Those sweet Dickies boots. Whoa. Ben's a shredder. Ben's a shredder. Those are what I wear when I drive. So for mine, we've got one long one that's going to go across the top, basically. And then we'll do four on the left side. So I can hang my clothes here. And then I have shelf for shelf stuff. Plug, do you approve? He's so skittish. So this is the end result of the shelves. Very happy with it. Finally have a place to put. This is kind of like my display stuff. This is a cool menu from the Vortex. If you've ever been there in Atlanta, super cool restaurant. Helmets. All that good stuff. Super nice though to have all this storage. Makes my OCD very happy to have everything nice and organized. I got room to grow. I got two essentially empty shelves for all the other stuff I'll end up needing a place to put. So I gotta put my clothes up, but other than that, we're done. Uh, so we've got some more house improvements to go. We've gotta do the outside paint. Uh, what else? Like window sills. Ben, what else do we have to do? Blinds, baseboards, paint the bathrooms um, and the counters. So we don't have that much left to do, but once we're done, it'll be pretty cool. It'll be a completely different house. It's been a fun project. We were just talking about it because it's like, it's so much easier than working on cars and there's so much more like gratification when you're done because it's it's like we went from a shelf with no, a shelf with no closets, a closet with no shelves to a closet with shelves. And it took like an hour, no problem. So anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 
Uh, I got a bunch more random stuff to do tomorrow as well. So I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Goodbye.